Good morning, my good people. This is your girl Trinity, and I am back with another video. I'm so sorry I've been gone for a couple of days, but this full moon has had me on one, girl. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please read up on it. I'm not an astrologer, nor am I any type of a professional or even an enthusiast, if you want to say, when it comes to the moon and all that stuff. I'm getting into it, but this moon has me releasing a lot of stuff and I'm doing a lot of shadow work and I look crazy. So this is going to be a reading for the collective. Any guide, any guidance or um, messages for you guys today. And today we're going to be using the Biddy Tarot deck, the mini. Okay. And just before we get started, this might not resonate with everyone. Okay. It's a general reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, check out one of my other videos. Maybe you can resonate with spiritual awakening or just spirituality in general. And let's get into this. So today is Saturday, May 9th. And we want to know the messages and guidance for the collective for Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Ooh. I'm not a very good at shuffling, okay? <laughs> what are the messages and guidance for the collective for Saturday, May 9th, 2020? Messages and guidance for the collective for Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Almost said 2019. <laughs> messages and guidance for the collective. Wow. I mean, a whole stack. That is way too many. What are the messages and guidance, <laughs> guidance for... <laughs> The collective, excuse me. Okay, so we have Queen of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Bot I like to read the bottom energy, which is the star. Maybe some of you are trying to find balance or need balance. Remember, I'm reading these intuitively, so it might not, what I'm saying might not resonate with the actual meaning of the card which this is based off of the original writer weight deck so just keep that in mind okay um so maybe some of you guys are needing to find balance and once you find that balance you will find what it is that you're looking for or what it is that you need so the queen of swords i i always get this mixed queen of swords you are determined, resilient, and smart. You think more than you feel. You will not tolerate mistruths or excessive fluff. Instead, you get straight to the point. For this reason, many value your opinion. So you don't take no shit. Sorry, I didn't even show you the cards. But this is the Queen of Cups. I mean, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Swords. Isn't she a boss lady? You don't play. You don't play. Or maybe you need to become Queen of Swords. Maybe you're not her yet. Seven of Pentacles. You are prepared to put in the hard work now and to reap the rewards later. You know this is a long-term game and you may not see immediate results. You've done what you can. Now it is time to wait patiently for the payoff. So yeah, I mean, Pentacles has everything to do with materialistic things, finances, tangible stuff. Okay, so like your belongings. So yeah, I mean, if you look at the Seven of Pentacles, she's tending her garden, which you know, if you plant a seed, it takes some time to grow. So if you've been planting seeds, um, meaning like if you're starting a business or if you've been filling out job applications, um, I don't know, whatever project you're working on right now, um, you definitely planted the seeds and you're going to reap the harvest. I'm not exactly sure when. It just depends on how long you've been doing this. I'm sorry for the lighting. The sun is really giving me some shit right now. Seven of Pentacles, you've been working hard. Boss lady, what did I say? Or boss man. Y'all been kicking ass and taking names. Any other messages or guidance for the collective for Saturday, May 9th? Okay, so some of you might be dealing with the same thing I'm dealing with, which is shadow work. And I'm still doing a lot of research on that. A lot of you are trying to build a firm foundation, planting those seeds for something better in the future. Yeah, triumphant success. This is the top energy here. Sometimes I read the top energy. This shit you're doing is coming into fruition, sis. Bruh. 
but I feel like a lot of us are still, a lot of us, a lot of things are being revealed because of this full moon, okay? And I think it's a lot of self-work that's being done. Because if you see here, he's like being pulled by intuition or higher self. But then he's still fighting the dark side. You know, which a lot of people might think that the dark side is evil. It's just the subconscious. You know, some of the things that we haven't dealt with, maybe past traumas or, you know, maybe we haven't forgiven ourselves for something. And then we have the accelerated motion card. Okay, things are about to start moving fast for you. Or they already are moving fast. Just go with the flow. Don't, um, I think this represents the eight of wands in the Rider Waite deck, if I'm not mistaken. But things are happening fast for you, or there's going to be some opportunities coming in pretty quick. So just be mindful. Just go with the flow. Don't go against it. Definitely keep planting seeds. Don't get discouraged because that's when a lot of people give up is right when they're about to have a breakthrough. So I feel like this mess this uh, reading is for myself as well because this has, has been what I've been going through. So let me go ahead and pull a card here for some words of encouragement. And I absolutely love doing this because I do this when I read for myself too because it just helps to have those words of encouragement. So any words of encouragement for the collective for Sunday, I mean, Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Um, words of encouragement for the collective for Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Words of, and, <laughs> words of encouragement for the collective for Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Words of encouragement for the collective for Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Words of encouragement <laughs> for the collective for Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. So it says, everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. I don't know if you guys can see that beautiful card very beautiful so i'll read that again it says everything you need your courage strength compassion and love everything you need is already within you so take that how that resonates to you um but yes these are your words of encouragement keep this in in your heart in your mind throughout the week coming up you are enough pretty much you are enough but anyways that is all i have for my viewers today, thank you for joining me for another one of my general readings. I will start to do, I want to start doing more pick a card readings, which I will get into. I just need to figure out a schedule. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video if it resonated with you. Um, and definitely leave your comments down below, letting me know what parts resonated with you and what you've been working on lately. All right. So I will see you guys in the next video. You all have an amazing, blessed, and beautiful day. I'm sending positivity, love, and light your way. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.